Hey, Big Sean. We're here to see your gym and fridge. Wrong house. Uh, man's hell. Why'd you say so? What's up, man? Come on in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait a second, here it comes. It takes a while. All right, so look, this is the gym. This is my guy right here. The real Jerry Four, my trainer. Getting this is work. And look, it may not look like much, but I'm gonna keep it real. It's a lot. I'm gonna show y'all. How often do you work out? I work out a few times a week, three to four times a week. Some people like working out every single day, but I'm one of those people that like, I like to have a recovery day. So I feel like I've seen the progression in that more than when I've done it every single day. What do you consider to be an intense workout? Intense workout when I can feel it like the day after when I'm doing the next workout, I'm still feeling the last workout. Like leg day, that'd be like intense, you know what I'm saying? So you use chains? Oh yeah, we got the, you know, so we got the 20 pound chains, uh, 45s on top of the 45s, so this all together is 175. I could probably do more than this, you know what I'm saying, than 175. I, could, I for sure can bench, you know, max out at two something bench press. But I'd rather do like a lot of reps or something, always trying to max out because I'm not trying to get big as f you know what I'm saying? I'm really just trying to stay in the best shape of my life. If I ain't trying to like transform to a bodybuilder. We don't skip leg day. No, we don't. Uh. <laughs> no, we don't. What keeps you motivated? What keeps me motivated is definitely just the progression I've been seeing in myself every single time I stay consistent. When did you start working out? Started working out January 1st. 2019, huh. been on it, every single day consistent. What motivated you to start that day? Uh, it's just a good time to start. That first day of the year, it's like a New Year's resolution, but I just didn't fall off. Do you do any other types of training? So we do MMA, calisthenics, basketball, stuff like that, boxing. What's your favorite part of the workout? I like the whole workout. It's just a time for me to like escape, not be in my head about nothing else. You know, it's like me time, so. What's your least favorite part of the workout? I don't have a least favorite part. I enjoy the whole process. I like stretching too. That's that's like the end of the workout. What are your fitness goals? I mean, my fitness goals truthfully are just to like be in the best shape of my life. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I'm not trying to be no bodybuilder. I'm not trying to do it for anything else but just being in shape, taking care of myself. Has getting fit helped you as a performer? Yeah, for sure. It definitely helps me out as a performer on stage. And just anything, you just walk different when you in shape. You know what I'm saying? Your whole aura change, it's like, even in business and everything. In a bedroom. Period. <laughs> <laughs> what music do you listen to when you work out? Bro, I listen to music all day long, doing everything else, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even listen to music when I work out. Do you have any scars? No, I don't really got no scars. Scars that you can see, really. I done seen some that scarred me, though. <laughs> what about tattoos? Bro, I'm probably one of the only people I know that I just don't have no tattoos. Never got around to it. I love tattoos, though. How do you keep your mind fit? I meditate every single day. So, you know, I keep my mind fit. And that's one of the things I've been doing longer than I've been working out. I've been meditating since I was like 17. You know, I had the same goals. So when I was 17, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to do music. I felt like it was my purpose, so. You know, my mom, just being a good mom, really just introduced me to meditation, introduced me to the law of attraction. And it just let me know I can manifest anything I want. You know, I feel like one of the things that cancels people out a lot is that they want something, but they'll be their own worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? They won't believe or they won't have that faith in themselves. That's what one of the things I felt like meditation helps me do. Like, it helps center me, but it also helps me like put my thoughts out into the world. All right, so look, I got two fridges, all right, because I'll show you why. So first fridge, we got a lot of protein in here and a lot of vegetables. It's kind of like paleo inspired, you know what I'm saying? So what would we never see in your fridge? You would never really see seafood in here. I don't really eat seafood at all. I'm not allergic, I just can't get with it. Every time I try and eat it, it's like out of there for me. I think it's like some past life trauma, truthfully. Do you cook at all? You know, I leave the cookers to the cookers. I don't really cook that much, but 
I mean, I cook in the studio, you know. What's crazy is I was looking for a chef, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for the proper meal plan. And in that process, my mama been here since October. And so she's been cooking for me. The best chef I could get, you feel me? Do you drink coffee or tea? Um, I drink green tea. So that's part of my like daily regimen. When I wake up, I drink green tea, take my supplements. I usually work out early, so I don't really eat before I work out unless it's like after. Cause first of all, I be in the studio all night. So I don't wake up until late morning. I'm for sure not a morning guy. So I be waking up at 11 a.m., do my little regiment, and then eat afterwards. I also got some vitamins specifically made for me. There's also this drink that my mom be using all this green stuff for called Alkalizer. It tastes like shit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hold you up. What do you eat for a late night craving? 2 a.m. I'm getting like just some type of little snack or a protein shake. Lately, I've just been grabbing a protein shake because it's so easy. I ain't got to think about it and go to sleep. What did your diet look like before you got healthy? So I've been health conscious, I feel like, probably more than a lot of people my whole life, you know what I mean? But when I really started taking it serious is when I was just ready to boss up my life, you know what I'm saying? Boss up. I feel like I had to boss myself up to be the best version. I want, If I want the best things, I got to feel the best, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I really need to take working out seriously, take my body seriously. I started January 1st, 2019, and just consistently been on it since then. You know how people be having their New Year's resolutions, and they be like, I'm about to get it. They fall off, like I ain't fall off, I just kept going, stayed on it, consistency. Can we see that machine over there? First of all, water is the number one just thing in the world I feel like that you have to do to take care of yourself. People who don't drink water take care of themselves like that, like dog. Maybe that might work for you for like your first, you know, you a little kid, but you either gotta like grow up and get your water in because it's the natural cleanser, you know what I'm saying? It's the number one thing you need. You want that clear skin. A lot of ailments will just go with the more water you drink. So that's why I take, I take it so serious because I know how beneficial it is, how important it is. Man, so look, I take hydration so seriously. That's why I got the whole second fridge. It's just all for drinks. First of all, I got the just water. Even though I got the water machine, you know, you always gotta keep the bottles. Shout out, you know, my little bro, Jaden Smith. Always on the water phone, gotta keep the just waters. I like this coconut water a lot. I got some kombucha tea, juice, Martinelli's. You don't know about that Martinelli's. Favorite protein drink? Yeah, these are my favorite types right here. And I also make protein shakes too, like, or I haven't made for them. So I'm gonna keep it real. I don't make them that much. I can make them, but I don't make them that much. Do you drink? Yeah, I drink alcohol for sure. What's your go-to drink? Well, you know champagne is a drink of champions. Time for rapid fire questions. Let's go. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. workout? <clears throat> 7 p.m. Squat or deadlift? <clears throat> yeah, that's squat. CrossFit, yay or nay? <clears throat> yay. I mean nay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot with these. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. <clears throat> Dumbbells or kettlebells? <clears throat> Dumbbells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Run outside. Cardio or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Both. Uh. Jacked, cut, ripped, or swole? Rip. If you could work out with anyone in the world, who would it be? The Rock and Kevin Hart. Well, I know The Rock can. I want to see a Kevin Hart can hang, you know? Those are my guys, though. I'm trying to get a workout in. What's up? I appreciate y'all men's health. I'm about to get the rest of my workout in, though. Y'all be safe, man. Peace. Sweet. Woo, perfect.